Hi friends, this tutorial I will teach how to create a manually drop down menu in a data grid view combo box. Okay, now uh, this is a form. This form I already added one uh, data grid view here. Okay, uh, now I need to uh, double click this form. So I am getting the uh, form load event. Uh, from load event so here I have nothing to do, do here this is grid view I need to add two columns here so go to uh, this data grid view in upper section you have to one small icon click this icon here I click add so first of all I am adding one column one uh, so this is the header name is just I am putting name and Another one is I am putting in a week days. Here I am selecting the type to uh, combo box and click add. Now I am closing the form. This is the weekdays combo box. Just to select the combo box, go to item menu. Inside is collections. You have to click here. So and after that you have to add the weekdays here so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and click ok now and click ok here ok now just run the project here this is here uh, cell one so you have to type anything this is uh, cell 2 here first I click to already once and click twice then only it will be coming drop down so click first and twice and again only you can get the this drop down menus so once I hit the mouse it will automatically using drop down no need to hit many times so that's why I am with this tutorial we will do it okay now uh, go to the event section go to properties here click event inside the event you have to select the cell click and click enter so it will be creating the uh, cell click event here I need to type data grid view one dot data grid view one dot begin edit true after combo box com equal to combo box Data review on dot editing control. Just I am putting the editing control. After that, combo dot drop 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 down I'm setting drop down equal to true now click the program and the program so and click first click it will come editing sections and click here once hit the button in single click it will come in the drop down one more thing you click anywhere here it will come here and because you are assigning the combo box for particular text but at the first column is not a combo box this is text column so we have to declare one more thing to avoiding this kind of errors so first if a dot pro index less than zero return so 
so you have to type your return why i am using this once i run the project you hit in header section so it will won't show the error that's why we are using this this line once this is this line after that second condition if e dot column index not equal to zero not equal to one one then return so here i am typing this is column one zero this is column one so it will column one then only uh, column zero then it will be written column one it won't be written so that's now i click the project so click here and click here it will work in so here not, no error will be through through okay guys we will meet on next next tutorial see you later bye